Hey everyone, welcome to Tabular Riemann Sums Part 2. This is Nicholas JMV. This is when we're going to look at a table that has different widths of the rectangle. This problem is most likely going to appear on your exam. Okay, so let's look. We have this table. We want to use left Riemann sums, six subintervals, and we want to go from 0 to 23. So from 0 to 23. Now this is left Riemann sums, so this last value here is going to get left out. Okay, but here's the difference now. Each rectangle has a different width, so we're not just going to have a general formula. So when we go from when we go from 0 to 23 of our function and we want to integrate that, we want the area using left Riemann sums. Okay. We're, we're, we're not going to have this on the outside, B minus A over N, because it's different for everything. So we're not really going to use that. We actually have to go by the individual values itself. So when I start this, let's go ahead and look. How am I going to start this? Well, this is going to be the width of my first rectangle is going to be 2 minus 0, which is 2, times, and I go over and down. That's why I look at it, times 4. That's the height of the first rectangle. Plus, I went here and here. Now I'm going to go 5 to 2. So 5 minus 2, which is 3, times the height. So I go over and straight down, which is 6, plus 11 minus 5, which is 6, times the height. So it's over, down, which is 16, plus 19 minus 11, which is 8. So 19 minus 11, you go down, which is 18 plus 22 minus 19, which is 3, times 22. And lastly, plus 23 minus 22, which is 1, times 29. And notice how the last number, like I said at the beginning, gets left out. Well, when you multiply all those together, I get a total of 361. Okay, so there's the area. So when, when you have a difference, okay, I look at it as this is how you get the width. You do the second number minus the first and drop straight down. And then here and down, here and down. So it's make, kind of making the L-shaped to get not only the width but the height, right? Because it's a rectangle, width by height, width by height. So that's how you find the area under a curve. Uh, from a table if you have different endpoints, or excuse me, different widths of your uh, rectangle. So if you have any questions or comments, you can type them below, and we'll see you next time.